Hello Paul here. Well, today we're going to be looking at solids, liquids and gases and we're going to start with some of these plants which have starred in several of our films so far and plants are obviously solid. You can see these plants are standing up so they've got to be solid. So there are solids in every single plant. Now also within the plant you have liquids. So these ones have been a bit neglected but they're still alive. So we can go some liquid for that one and a bit of liquid for that one so that should keep them happy for the next few days now also within these plants we have gases so at this moment these green plants are absorbing carbon dioxide from the air and pushing out oxygen so the fact that they're there enables us to survive because they are giving us the oxygen we need to survive and also having lots of plants helps to uh, get rid of global warming because they absorb the carbon dioxide and turn it into solid. So solid liquid gases are within these. A couple of liquids we're going to use is the balls that were our solid are now disconnected. The bonds, these bits, aren't connecting them together anymore. So now they're all separate. You see a liquid, same amount of particles, quite dense. It's all squashed into that little space and the particles are able to move. And I can stir them. Okay, so a liquid fills the bottom of the container, it's not filling the top, and it moves around quite nicely. So if we look at some different liquids, now washing up liquid's quite a dense, thick liquid. So I'm going to pour some into here and see how it pours. So quite slow. Let's compare that to some water. Much faster. And I've got this liquid here, very similar. Okay, it's just orange water. I'm gonna pour some cooking oil in, which is another quite thick, viscous liquid. And something quite interesting happens there. I'll bring it up to the camera. It separates into two layers. So, what's going on there? Well, there's one more bit of investigation we're going to do there. Is I'm going to pour some washing up liquid into here just to see what happens. So, let's bring it up here. So the washing up liquid is mixed with the layer on top and you can see, actually I can see there's a nice string of washing up liquid going into the bottom as well. So it's quite a nice mixture there. So a little bit of colouring, some water, some cooking oil and a bit of washing up liquid. You end up with quite an interesting mixture and they're all liquids.